Hey peeps, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sword, also known as Katana Crossing, and today I'm going to be doing a speed run of how I decorated and designed the inside of my house, aka the wedding castle on my island of Milky Wave. This is pretty much a huge staple in my island just because it's a really big build. I feel like it's one of my favorite parts of the island, so I decided it was finally time to decorate. I usually save interior designing for last since i will be releasing my dream address soon and doing an island tour video soon i thought it was finally time to do this and i decided to do a little speed run of it so if you guys want to see how i did that then keep on watching for any new viewers this is what the exterior of the wedding castle looks like so i did do a separate video on how i built that if you're interested in checking that out but the first room we're going to be working on for the interior is the main room that you first walk into so i turned it into a wedding ceremony so basically it's the interior version of the wedding ceremony right outside the wedding castle and as you can see i'm using these custom tiles to sort of create that main aisle that everyone walks down and i did this because i didn't have any wedding rugs but i think it actually turned out really cute in the end so i think it turned out really unique as you can see, I'm using the arch and a bunch of wedding benches. You'll see that I use a ton of white flooring and wallpaper in this video, and there's not a lot of contrast, so I'm sorry for that. It's not the best, and I might change the house up a little bit right before I release the dream address, but like I said, I didn't have a lot of items to work with, seeing how this isn't my main island, so I feel like it turned out pretty decent for the fact that I had very limited items. Um, the main colors I used in this room were pinks, greens, and whites, and yeah, I really liked using the cherry blossom piles too. I feel like they look really nice on wedding builds and stuff. Also, I think my favorite item in this room specifically is the white bird cage. I don't know why, I just feel like it looks so good in this room. And then I added a bunch of plants just to give it more of that botanical aspect that I want to give this wedding castle too. And lastly, I decorated the walls with the wedding decorations and added lots of flowers and more greenery. I also used the nuptial door plates inside because I think they look great inside too. And this is pretty much how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. Not super original, but it definitely looks like the inside of a wedding castle, in my opinion. So the next room we decorated is the back room. I decided to turn it into a kitchen. For some reason, I always turn the back room of my house into a kitchen. So I wanted to turn it into like the kitchen where they're baking all the wedding cakes and the desserts for the wedding. So it's essentially like a little kitchen bakery type thing in the back. I used a bunch of the ironwood um, kitchen items and I don't know, I think they looked really cute in this coloring set. And I used the fireplace as like a little countertop. I don't know why, I just think the fireplaces look so good as countertops because they don't really give us cute modern countertops in the game. And then during this part, of course, I grabbed a bunch of wedding cakes, obviously. They pretty much make the whole interior build. I also eventually used some mom's cakes and birthday cakes too, just to show kind of a little bit of variation between the cakes. And I added more desserts later on to this build as well. Also added a little table in the back with more desserts on it and I didn't make a dining room in this wedding castle at all. I know I could have done that but I had so many dining areas on the outside on my island so I just decided on the interior I would just do one kitchen and just call it good. And then in the end I ended up 
placing a bunch of potted ivy plants on the walls and just more greenery on the walls because I feel like it looks really good and looks kind of more boho, which is also the theme I'm going for. On this island in general, I kind of just mixed wedding core with boho because I feel like they both have a very similar aesthetic and for me, it's really about the aesthetic. I feel like you don't have to have a specific theme on your island. And then I used a tapestry and some mom's art and I don't know, I just thought it looked really good with the rest of the theme. So this is pretty much how the kitchen turned out. So definitely where I'm gonna be going to binge eat. No, but seriously, I like it. I like how it turned out. So next I'm decorating the right room, which is the gonna be the wedding boutique. I wanted to make like a little area where you can find dresses. Uh, ignore the flooring, I'll change that later, but I'm just placing these changing rooms that are kind of customized. The curtains are customized in this like white rose design, which I think is really cute. I added some vanities, I added some changing rooms, and just more wedding items. And then I placed down this den desk and on the den desk, I decided to put some things like accessories, like a hat and the bridal veil and just things like that. And then I placed down some wedding dresses and a wedding tuxedo. I also used one of my custom wedding dresses and just placed them down right in front of the accessories. And then I decided to change it out with the blue paint flooring, which I still don't like. I didn't have a lot of options, so I may end up changing it later. And for some reason, I have an obsession with using the box sofas so that I just made them into like a little waiting area that you can sit at. And for some reason, I put some wedding wands on the table. I don't know. I just ended up decorating it, trying to add more stuff to it. I even used a pink moon chair just because the name of my island is Milky Wave. So I kind of wanted to... I just kind of randomly add celestial items here and there just to kind of match the name and keep the theme going. And yeah, this is pretty much it for my little wedding boutique. I think it turned out really cute and I think it matches this whole house pretty well. The next room I am decorating is the room on the left. So I'm turning this room into sort of like a luxurious bathroom. So um, you will see that I end up changing the flooring later. So don't even worry. I'm not keeping it like this. Um, but basically I'm just placing all the bathroom items I have. I really didn't have a lot. Cause like I said, this isn't my main island, but I decided to use the whirlpool bath thing as the bath. Cause I thought it looked the best and I just used a bunch of like shell items and white and cream items that matched some of the rattan furniture. And then I added a lacy rug under the bath area. I feel like adding rugs like that always looks cute. And then of course I added more tile mats. I added this custom rattan looking rug right under this little seating area. I don't know why this bathroom has a seating area. I guess it's just bougie like that. And then I added a nail art set on there. I don't know if people usually get their nails done in the bathroom, probably not, but it just looked right. It looked right. It's just supposed to be kind of like a bathroom where like the bride can get ready in and just like have the best time, I guess. And then I added these um, custom windows And I added a changing room, changed the flooring, and you'll see me change it again. I 
almost changed it to this, but then I changed it to the light herringbone flooring. I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That sounded weird. But anyways, this is how it turned out, and I think it turned out pretty cute. It's not super extravagant, but I still think it looks clean and nice, and hey look, there's a toilet. The next room I'm decorating is the basement. I really had no idea what I was going to be doing. I had no plans for it, so this was very spontaneous and most of my building and decorating on this got cut off because for some reason it decided to freeze on me and I didn't realize until last minute, but essentially what I ended up doing is I created this little flamingo beach wedding. I don't even know. I just think it's random and cute and I think it turned out really good. I also ended up using this custom sand path for the flooring instead because I didn't have the actual sand flooring on this island for some reason, but I used the same wedding tiles and as you can see, it's just like a cute little flamingo wedding on the beach. Turned on some Aloha KK and turned on the confetti blower and I think it's a pretty chill, relaxing room. Um, I love it. I know it's not super you know, different or anything, but I don't know. I thought a flamingo wedding in your basement, who wouldn't, who wouldn't love that? The last room I ended up decorating was of course the attic or upstairs, whatever you want to call it. And I just wanted to make like a really pretty master bedroom that kind of matched the rest of the house. So I used this fairy lights code as my wallpaper. Um, I love using customs as the flooring and wallpaper, especially when I have no good flooring and wallpaper to work with. So I think it actually turned out really cute. So I just kind of placed this bed down and you'll see I try to place a bunch of cozy stuff down in this cream color. And I don't know, I'm just trying to make a cute little bedroom. I'll probably add more to it later because honestly, I feel like it's still a bit incomplete. It's not very cluttered like the way I usually like to do it. So I'll probably add some things later, but I just added a bunch of Zen cushions. I'll probably add some like clothing items and stuff to make it look more lived in later, but at this point I was just really tired. Honestly, this took me all day. I don't know why it took me so long. And can someone please tell me why Animal Crossing won't let us place teddy bears on couches? Like what is this? What are these limitations? And then for the wall decor, I ended up using a bunch of the starry fragments, um, I forget what they're called, but you know, those like fairy light looking things, they look really cute. And this is pretty much it for the bedroom. I also added a cute birdcage in here as well, cause we love burbs in here. And that's pretty much it for my wedding castle. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new to my channel, you enjoy this video, you love my content, make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with new uploads and streams because I do stream pretty often. I also have my upload and stream schedule in the description. Um, we have a Discord for 13 and up if you want to join that. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I know that this wasn't super extravagant for interior builds, but I tried. And I'm gonna be finally releasing an island tour for Milky Wave soon, so the end of this island is very near, and I'm a little bit sad, but I'm also ready for a new start. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty burnt out, so thank you again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all in my next video or stream. Bye!